is the first day of Vlogtober. I can't believe I'm doing it again this year. We'll see how long I last. Uh, but we're doing it on this channel instead of the main channel, so yay! I get to just do whatever. Anyway, today I am planning on doing a big fat admin day. It is Saturday. Um, it's morning time still, about 8. 30. We're getting ready to go on a dog walk. Clover's here. It's a little bit rainy, cloudy out, um, but we just got back from a trip. I didn't really vlog about it a lot, but I went to Maryland for a week to help my mom out because she had a hernia surgery, and I just wanted to make sure she was gonna be okay after surgery, if she needed help like making meals or like doing whatever. So I stayed there for about five days and then drove back up and my drives down and up are two days because I do four hours and four hours. I stay overnight in a hotel in New Jersey. I got a little footage from that that I will probably insert right now. Hello, welcome back to the vlog. I'm in the sunlight. Step down, there we go. That's better. Today, I'm getting my car ready for a road trip. I've already like sort of cleaned the interior. I might wanna do a little bit more of a vacuum job, but I discovered there's a there's like a little hidden compartment. There's two hidden compartments in the in the back, in the trunk, and I didn't know about them. And I've had the car since 2015, and my dad's had the car since probably 2009, 2008. So I don't know what I'm gonna find there. So I figured I would um, look through it, and we'll see what's down there. I'm afraid of what I might find. Um, because if you're new here, uh, my dad passed away in 2022, and I am still really heartbroken over it. So this was his car before it was mine. Here it is, and uh, we'll see. We'll see what's 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 in there. Okay, so here's the trunk. Um, I think I've got most of it empty. I'm gonna like put this up here. It does need to be vacuumed. <laughs> There's definitely some dirt back here because we bought home flowers from the, the nursery so many times, so there's like some dirt, but um, this, I think, didn't come with the car. So I think, but I mean, but it's been here for the length of time I've owned the car, this like weather tech thing. And I think I didn't realize that there were compartments here is because this is the real um, trunk. If you can see, I don't know if you can see how well you can see. I'm gonna adjust my angle a little bit more here. There. And I didn't realize that these were like buttons to release it until like 30 minutes ago when I was at the dog park. Let's see what's in here. Um, okay, we've got another, a real scrapey brush. Wow, this has like gotta be so old. Um, we've got jumper cables, which is awesome. What is this? Is this for the? It's for, it says it's for my cell phone. It's for the. It's for the cup. My dad had this in the front, so I could put his little cell phone in there. That's adorable. What is this? Oh, what's a cheater pipe? What's a cheater pipe? Oh, is this to, for like, for flat tires and to get the wheels off? I mean, I'll never need this, but, well, oh my gosh, it's so dusty. Well, I'm, maybe I'll leave it. What is this bag? This is just packaging. Oh my gosh, I have to, I have to get rid of this, right? It's super old, but it's like flat, like fix a flat stuff, and this too. This is like fix a flat. There's no way this is still good. This is fascinating. My dad was so organized and so well prepared for everything. So I got jumper cables in here. Like something else could go in here. This is like a little cute compartment. What is this? These are tools. Oh, look a little tool thing. That's so cute. And a bag. What's in this bag? Giant. <laughs> giant because in Maryland where my parents are from there's giant but in New England where I live this is stop no this is what is this 
What is it? Stop and shop? I forget what the which one is the same company because we have both Star Market and Stop and Shop and like Market Basket. I forget. Oh my god. Uh, what is this? Okay, so my dad was an oral surgeon and he's got these little sheets introducing date referred by doctor procedure to be performed you got permanent teeth deciduous teeth <laughs> and implant information about implants this must be a note for the nurses or I wow I'm doing okay this is fine for me um, Dental implants? Like a little kit? Okay, what else in here? Like this is probably for his phone. Oh, it looks really broken. <laughs> it looks super broken. Newport News, Virginia for information called. It, it's so old that there's no like website on here, but it's some artist's um, business card. <laughs> uh, and look at look at the uh, look at the art. I think you can see. There. Yeah, you can see. He likes stuff like that, so, and he loved art. So, uh, a car wash, like VIP card <laughs> for washing the car. This car, I assume. Oh, I assume this does not smell anymore. <laughs> the oldest floss I can ever imagine existing in this world. Oh, and some gloves. <laughs> Uh, these are, everything in here is so, like, what you should have in your car, <laughs> and that was, that was Adrian. Man was so unbelievably prepared for everything and, like, had it together. Um, do these gloves even fit me? I know I have big hands. Oh, they do. <laughs> Alright. Because this is just so... It's so him. <laughs> All right, it is like just after seven o'clock. Oh, 725 and I have just arrived in New Jersey at my hotel I'm on my way to Maryland I stop halfway between Boston and Maryland to sleep because I don't like driving for eight hours and I have my new my hotel room and I don't this is like a suite I've never been in one of these before it's got its own like separate bedroom oh, I'll turn the camera around Clover and I are together <laughs> but we it's got like its own separate bedroom look at this really cool and a little kitchenette so I'll make some dinner for myself and I'll like a little living room is that cute this, this is so cute and like little closet all right Clover I'm gonna feed him and we're gonna settle down for the evening but I thought I'd show you guys my fun hotel
just got back yesterday afternoon. I've been resting because it was such a big day because the driving through Ophelia the hurricane was a lot and now I'm all rested and I need to give Clover a bath because he's really stinky and I need to work out after the walk. So I've already got my workout clothes on underneath my like walking clothes. So that's part motivation for me because sometimes on weekends I will move the, my workout to Sunday but I think today we're just gonna knock it out um, so we'll see how I feel today about it but I also need to do a crap ton of editing for the main channel and the gaming channel I think I can get it all done today but I'm not really sure so tomorrow my goal is to do some batch content creation and kind of get that going so I can be ahead instead of behind, which I am right now. But um, hopefully I'll be for a nice cozy weekend. I've already had my coffee, I'm feeling good. Tonight we're having hot pot, so very exciting. I'm looking at my Hoya, thinking it needs some help. Not keep these alive. This is Hoya Australis, and like this, that's a new leaf right there, but like a lot of leaves are dying off of this. I don't know, and there's, there's other, pieces of it that died off. If you all have Hoya Australis, give me your secret because I cannot keep these alive. This is my second one I've had. It was doing okay for a while. Look, there's a dead leaf here. It was doing okay for a while and now it's struggling, as you can see. I don't think I overwater it. Maybe I do, I don't know. Anyway, let me know if you have one of these. I This is the only Hoya I can't keep alive. The Hoya Polynora is doing pretty good, although there's not much growth on it, frankly. This one is doing great, the like the lima bean way <laughs> It flowers sometimes, it's really cute. And Hoya Crimson Queen is just living her best life. Like this, she's living her best life. It's super variegated. And look at the little cute new leaf here, isn't that cute? And my Thanksgiving cactus is flowering. So I got back from my trip and I saw two new flowers. Look how beautiful, so beautiful. I'm gonna take a picture. And I've got a brand new leaf on my anthurium crystallinum, which hasn't, uh, had a new leaf in months and months and months, so I'm super happy about that. This is the the oldest, I think this is the oldest leaf. I don't know, but look how big that is. Beautiful. Anyway, plant babies are doing amazing.
I have edited two videos for KDaisy. We are exporting to disc right now. So hopefully that'll be up and I'll have two videos up for the channel next week. I'm so excited. Yay, I was really behind and now I'm caught up and I'm so thrilled. I got a bunch of stuff from Amazon for the coffee bar and it all came in like separate packages, which is like, why? It's, but we're gonna open my packages right now. All right, I think this is my, well, you know what? I don't know. I don't know. I do not know. Why am I guessing? This one, oh, this one is the, uh, the glass balls for the plants. Now I bought four of these last week. Well, I bought a package of these last week and they are incredible. So I bought four more. <laughs> Let me make sure. Oh, that made an interesting one. <laughs> Let me make sure they're all set. Oh yeah. So there are these things and you put them in your plants, you put water at the bottom and you put them in their plants, in your plants, and you stick this in the soil and it waters your plants for you, for those who are really thirsty. So I have a couple of thirsty plants, um, so I'm glad to have four more. I really like these. It keeps me from like underwatering plants, which I am guilty of. <gasps> this can has been through it, but it's fine. This is my favorite coffee. This is Illy Coffee. The can has been through it. Why would they send a can, a metal can in an envelope like this? Like, of course it's gonna get beat up, but um, the seal is still on and the, the beans are still fine inside. So this is um, whole beans. I'm gonna grind, oh my God, I, listen. I'm already very excited for tomorrow morning when I grind these up. I should grind them before tomorrow morning so I'll wake up Eve and have some coffee. This is my favorite coffee. This is not sponsored. I mean, if, I wish it was. I'm not a coffee channel. But, like, it's, it's so good. <laughs> I got two cans of Illy because I got one especially for the mocha pot. And I'm not really sure why it's different. <laughs> um, it's probably not. I probably just got ripped off, but, I mean... I mean, I'll take more Illy coffee. Is it in this box? What is this box? Oh, is this the um the syrup containers for the coffee bar? I'm obsessed with the coffee bar. <gasps> it is. I'm obsessed with the coffee bar, by the way. That's going really well. I'm enjoying it. But, um, oh, look at these little tags. <gasps> look at these little spoons. Oh my gosh, let me take one out of the bag. I gotta wash everything before I put it in the bar. <gasps> so cute. Oh my God, I can't wait. And it comes with all these little like accessories. And, ooh, oh boy. Anyway, it's these little syrup bottles for syrup. So when I have my coffee in the morning, make your little cappuccino, you can like, oh, put a little vanilla syrup in there. Isn't that cute? I mean, it's the little things, you know? It looks like someone opened the box and then sent it to me and then closed it again. So I'm a little afraid. Like it looks like they reused, you know what, if they reused, oh my God. Okay, so what, what is going on? It looks like they reused this box, which isn't, I'm not mad about if they did that. Uh, I got some keto, well, keto caramel syrup. Um, I never trust anything really wholly to be good for you. If it does say keto on the label, I kind of side eye it because it says one net carb. I'm not really going to go with that, but I, it, there is no sugar in it. So we're just going to go with that. It's probably got, I mean, net carbs is something, it's not something I do. It's just not. It's total carbs. Um, so this has seven total carbs per serving. I'm going to go with that. Okay. I'm not this one net carb thing. This is BS. So, um, but it's caramel syrup. I haven't had caramel syrup in a few months, so I'm really excited to make a cappuccino with that. Got some monk fruit drops, because we're not eating sugar. Oh my God. And last but not least, I got, I got the can of mocha, uh, mocha pot coffee from Illy. See, it's got a little mocha pot on there. This is supposedly for the mocha pot but they sent me this can without the top. Look, there's the pull can. And like, there's no top. This one has a top. This one does not have a top. I mean, what am I supposed to do now? <laughs> like, it... Okay.
Okay, well the good thing is, I do think I have an old can of Illy coffee. <laughs> so I can just use the top from that one to put it on top of this one, to close it once I open it. But the quality control at Amazon shipping has some things to be desired, I suppose, because like, what was this box? What was, what was this? Like, I don't mind them reusing a box. I really don't, but like, send me my entire product. <laughs> and maybe I wouldn't have minded some wrapping material around this, maybe like a bag to prevent it from leaking all over all of my other products. I don't know. Um, but I mean, it's Amazon. What do I expect? So yay, everything is intact mostly. Yay. So I'm going to finish making thumbnails and I'm going to wash all of these things and maybe set some up at the bar. And then I'm going to get ready for hot pot. We're both hungry. So we'll have it We'll start getting ready for it at like 5 p.m. today. It'll be a nice early dinner. And um, I heard that Gordon Ramsay Kitchen Nightmares is back. So I think we're gonna watch that. I love Kitchen Nightmares. It's so good. If you've never seen it, it's a Gordon Ramsay show. I mean, it's just, it's so good. It's so good. It's like Gordon Ramsay trying to save a failing restaurant. And it's some of the best TV that was ever on TV. I think the first episodes were like 2014, 20, I don't, I don't know. But anyway, they're all on YouTube. You can watch them. And now it's back. I'm so excited. So I'm going to get ready to do that. So I'm going to finish uploading my videos for K-Daisy and um, I'll see you at Hot Pot. And that'll probably be the whole vlog. Not a very like super cozy start to Vlogtober because yesterday I had super cozy vibes. Like I had the fireplace going, I had candles lit. I had a coffee. It was just so many good vibes, but I was coming back from Maryland and it was a lot. So, uh, Clover's bath and Clover's grooming, he hated it, but it needed to be done. I'm so excited. I love my coffee bar. Yay. Oh man. It's the first night of Vlogtober and I forgot to film the hot pot segment of our day. It was delicious. I ate so much. Um, and now we watched like Gordon Ramsay. We chilled out and it's been a really nice relaxing fall day. Like really not much has happened and that's totally okay. I think later in the week we're gonna go apple picking. We're gonna pick out some pumpkins and do some really nice, really nice fall stuff. I'm gonna continue to woodshed tomorrow and by woodshedding I mean like getting some work done because Monday is like a whole new week and a fresh slate and I really want to be caught up for that but you know that starts with my morning routine tomorrow so I can't wait to have coffee in the morning my Illy coffee I'm so excited all right thanks for watching <laughs> and I'll see y'all tomorrow